Your stock of the day. I thought we'd take a look at Line Cam Resources, uh, shares of the lithium producer in a trading halt. Uh, US uh, based uh, Albemarle uh, has pulled the pin on the $6.6 billion buyout bid, citing concerns it had around growing complexities of the transaction, quote unquote. Uh, Line Town last week uh, graded the world's biggest lithium chemical maker an extension to examine its books and enable Albemarle to uh, forward a binding offer. The deal was dropped after Hancock Prospecting, Gina Reinhardt's mob, um, uh, bought a 19.9% stake of Liontown over the past couple of weeks. The stake would likely have been enough to block the bid. Liontown went into a trading hold this morning just after making the announcement pending a finalisation of funding around the Kathleen Valley Lithium Project. Um, Sean, what do you think of the... Uh, uh, the situation with Lion Town at the moment. Um, takeover not going ahead. Gina Reinhardt sitting there with just under 20%. Interesting one. Didn't mm. actually think they'd walk away quite so fast. Mm. Um, they've knocked on the door three times. They spent a lot of time, a lot of money getting to this point in time. I'm assuming they've made a few phone calls to Gina and Co. And obviously there's a, they see a problem there. Yep. So you've gone from a takeover to a capital raise. Mm. It's probably yep. going to be a pretty bad opening. Um, it's okay, so uh, we, be lower, one would we, we, we looked there. The big price hike up was when the offer was made the first time, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly. So it was trading around that dollar twenty three mark, two eighty now. What would you be doing if you're a Lion Town shareholder? Um, you can't do anything, of course, with a trading hold at the moment. But probably be kicking myself and not selling some or part of my holding. Yep. Um, but you can't look backwards. It doesn't no. make you any money in investing. Mind you, here on the call, as it's come up. Over the weeks, a lot of people, a uh, lot of the analysts on the panel here have said, hey, you know, sell, sell half now and see how the rest runs. So exactly. That, in retrospect, that seems pretty good advice now. And, and we've alluded to that in our reports because yes. we've, we've been asked the question quite a few times. Yeah. Um, with Gina was a happy bar at $3, you wonder mm. what's going to happen next. So, right. um, you know, will she have an interest in going further? Yeah. She well, might be able to get quite a bit of stock cheaper today, or not today, this week. Yep, yeah. So I, I would say that um, I am a little bit surprised. Yeah. Um, but if it gets sold off aggressively, it's probably good value from a risk-reward perspective. But the whole lithium space has been struggling to get the traction that everyone was expecting. It's been very, very volatile. Yeah. It's a chemical process. You're not digging, I think I said this to you last time I was on the show, you're not mm -hmm. digging iron all out the ground in a very predictable fashion. It's a chemical process that's fairly new. It's complex, isn't it? It's very complex. My degree is in chemical engineering, believe it or not. Yeah. And I wouldn't want to start to explain it to you. So, oh, you know, <laughs> it's yeah. a complex process and it's got a lot of learning curve to go. Right. And um, I think there's a sector where you want to buy into dips. Well, you might well get that in this stock. This right. Week. Okay. Um, so hold on if you're a Lion Town investor and look at, so do you go back in if you took your profits for... 50% if it comes down to around the dollar fifty mark. If it comes yeah. back to a dollar fifty, yes, I would. Yes, yes, right. I would definitely okay. be considering it there. But, but I don't think on. it will come down that. I don't think it will halve. Yeah, but it's worth if you're in there with a hold. We're you've got seeing hold. what what Gene is going to do. It's a situation play. Yep. That's that's taken a big transition over the last few hours. Yep. Okay. Um, David, what's your view? Yes, yeah, similar sort of view. I think that uh, what we've seen is the, the share price spike with the uh, Albemarle um, takeover offer and with uh, Gina building that 20% stake. So, yeah, it's likely that we will see the share price decline once they, once they come out of that trading halt um, because Gina or Hancock Prospecting um, are limited at that 20% mark. So they've either got to make another takeover offer or there's the creep rule. So over the next six months, after the after this yeah. six months has gone, they could then increase by 3%. So unlikely in the very short term that you'll see too much positive activity out of the share price. Um, but obviously long-term, it's, it's a great resource and it has the, the long-term potential. So, yeah, if you're in the in the stock for that short term gain, potentially you might look at, at whether or not you um, yeah, you move out of some of the stock once they reopen. But depending upon what that share price does, 
But if you're a long term, um, it's still a, a very good asset. And obviously, both uh, Hancock Prospecting and Albemarle have been interested in the, the long term um, viability that the project so uh, could well continue to, to do well. Um, but yeah, you just need to be a little bit more patient if you if you're sure. in it now. So you'd, you'd be a hold if you're in it? I think so at the moment. Yeah, I'd, I'd be a long term holder and, and think that not only lithium itself, but also this uh, this project is has a lot of long term potential. So I wouldn't be rushing to any short term uh, short term reaction. I'd be holding in for the longer term. Okay. All right.